drinking, bro. Put down the water and grab a fucking drink. Welcome back to another ridiculous episode of Drinking Bros. If you don't know what we're about, we are just four normal dudes that like to get drunk. That never cross. We're just friends. We, just, never, we never cross, cross swords. The line. Uh, we'll cro- we oh, never lines cross are swords. The line. we, we, we just we're just two friends. We never cross <laughs> the line. What? What? <laughs> it's just four heroes out in the world. Just four yeah. fucking heroes out in the world trying to figure shit out. Four dudes doing their thing. When I, our streams combined. <laughs> four dudes. Are you doing Captain Planet yeah. right now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> our streams combined. When our streams combined. It's powers combined. We do not have combined. venereal It's powers combined, no, not but our, streams. Our streams. If it does, yeah. you, dude, game over. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, let me. Hey, Rocco, can our can our dreams can our dreams come together too? Just <laughs> dreams and streams. I have a dream. Dreams Ross. and streams. That's all I want. Oh my god! All right, I will introduce you to the power cast we have as always. You know, I I thought I wouldn't miss him, but I I really missed him when he was not a part of the Drink Bros. But Jared Taylor, I like how you open that with you thought you wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. so well, Jared, we've been around you a lot. You know the art yeah. with the name. Yeah, first, our right? little Jimmy John, our little Jimmy John over there. <laughs> I, I literally the last three years of my life have been living within a mile of you, spending that every is, day. That, so. that, that is true. We talk more than a married couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we bang more than a married couple. You, too. you know what's Wait, funny what? too, wow. Rocco, as you say that. I was telling Matt yesterday when we travel, like like when we were in Vegas and Sundance, we don't see each other. Yeah, or talk to each too other. Too busy, man. I know. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's true. Right? Everyone's doing their thing. Yeah. It's like go talk <laughs> to people. Go 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 network. Go shake hands. Go meet. Go. It's like oh, I haven't seen you in four so, days. So along with the Jared Taylor Rocco to my right, who is talking hey. right now, he is Big Poppy, the bouncer, the big chin, good. God, you're so attractive. You know why I named him Rocco? motherfucker. When I, I first it. met him, you know it. why? Why? It was actually based off of the Norm MacDonald movie. Uh, Ross, which one was that one? The w- Dirty Work. Where... Uh, Oh, that oh that old classic that everybody knows. <laughs> yeah, come on, so, come on, Jared. So when when you Norm, and your fucking uh, obscure movies, dude. <laughs> when Norm says, uh, "If you don't do this, Kirkpatrick here is gonna punch you in the stomach." When I first met Rocco, I just said, "Dude, your name should be Rocco. That way, if anybody pisses us off, I just go, hey, if you don't do this, Rocco's gonna punch you in the stomach.'" And, and Rocco's <laughs> thing, but Rocco is Vincent Vargas, the man himself. Special operations back, just all around badass uh, man. Ooh, so yeah, love it. Yeah, hey Matt, Matt, but he is he is covering up his chin with, with a beard right now. It is, which it is. I'm it's a little go, disappointed. It, it goes fine. away in a week. It goes but away in a week. But he looks good, Ross. He really does. Next week I shave it. Speaking about guys that look good, we have cut mm, big you, dick you. daddy oh, Ross. I Patterson. thought you were going straight to you. Oh, oh stop! I'm blushing. That. This on our Valentine's Day episode. I'm blushing. Listen, right for now. 60 years old, you look really good, dude. Yeah, man. Dude, a cool 60. Man, you got. I am too. I am two summers older than you, and yeah, this is what no, I get. You also have a twenty. I'm two summers older than you. What are you, forty something, and you have a twenty something dick? It's great. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> amazing. Yeah, my wife all, it, it's, all, all honestly jokes about how he doesn't age because she compared. He doesn't. Dude, she compared a I've photo of the him in the new guy. Ago, I've like seen that ago. dude. He does not fucking age, dude. <laughs> dude, your He's picture. Like a fucking I don't witch. Age. Hey, I know what happened. Ross is a witch. I know what happened. I, Ross, I've seen those movies where people go to the crossroads and they sell their soul to the devil. Oh shit! And I'm saying, I love that fucking movie. I, yes. Dude. Oh my I've god! I've seen no brother saying, we're out though. And I'm saying, I've seen no brother we're out. There's something it's, weird, it's Ross. It's me. Here, here's the thing: it's me, Pharrell, and Gwen Stefani, and we're beating <laughs> fucking time, dude. I love it. Dude. We're beating fucking time. Go look at any pictures of me, Pharrell, or Gwen Stefani from either ten or fifteen years ago. Same fucking person. But no, his same face, goddamn person. His face shows it, but his dick has the rings. Yeah, like he's got like the, a tree, the, the age ring. Yeah, yeah, like a tree. Yeah, his dick's got the age ring. So, so we're here. But the no, crew. It, it, <laughs> it doesn't. My dick has Wi-Fi. It's so big it has Wi-Fi. <laughs> Listen, I'm gonna log in with my math. Later. Oh god! Yay. Hey, do you, can you can you customize the password on your dick's Wi-Fi? Oh, I, can, I, I can't. I can't. It's a little my too dick's long. Wi-Fi. You can't log in. Yeah, my dick's wi- my my dick's Wi-Fi is the Second Amendment. So if you just spell out the whole thing, <laughs> no, so that's, from, my, uh, that's my Wi-Fi password. Jared, Jared Taylor to Vincent Vargas, Mr. Ross Patterson, and myself, Mr. Matt Best. We want to say welcome to Drinking Bros. Welcome, welcome. to Drinking drinkin Bros. The Valentine's, yes. the Valentine's Day episode. The Valentine's Day episode. Your one-stop shop to be the most romantic dude that gets broken up with on the 14th. <laughs> yeah. I think we should. I think we should throw some. Spot 
sponsors out there, and then I think we yeah. should get into some ridiculousness. All right, we're going to go with the sponsors. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's episode is brought to you by the most epic piece of American literature ever written. <laughs> At night, she cries <laughs> while he rides cries. his <laughs> Oh. Yes, the, the first, first ever, ever romance, romance novel, novel for, for dudes. Dude. <laughs> On Valentine's Day, ladies, get your man something. Get your man something. It get him is a as book. if you Grab could take you book. porn and put it on a piece of paper. At night, she cries while he rides his steed. Has given men boners across the United States, from San Francisco to Milwaukee. <sighs> Oh yeah. yeah, yeah! I like that a lot. <laughs> we're doing sound effects over here. Yeah. Oh yeah! Listen, we're on number two podcast. Some we're of the greatest the nectar good. of the gods you will ever feast into your little tummies. Mm. Lead slingers whiskey. Uh, it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 It yeah, comes yeah. with a money back guarantee to make your beard bigger and your dick stronger. Yeah, <laughs> I like stronger. Your yeah, beard yeah, bigger, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, or or because whiskey dick. <laughs> those are two. Those are two things you can't really prove. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, your beard looks stronger. It is. <laughs> no, your dick looks stronger. Your, dick your, beard, looks stronger. your beard's definitely bigger because it's been time. Yeah. And then your dick is definitely stronger, bro. I mean, yeah, have you ever yeah. lifted there, there's with There's more it? blood in there, dude. You're no. doing 235 today. No, no bigs. One cock push. Or, up. hey, look, if somebody does return it, you make them slam their dick up on the counter and be like, all right, cool. Your, di- your, <laughs> yeah, your dick I, looks weird. I will, I will be it self-promotional. Something very cool about Lead Slinger's Whiskey, it, it is uh, almost all special operations background almost owned. Right. Um, sorry, Jared. Uh, but I yeah. just get well. I, technically, <laughs> you, you are technically, technically Jared. Ja- way uh, to bring it down, Zach Jared. Way to bring it just down. Just jumped into that category. That is true. We might because be good. Zach is on a deployment right now, supporting some very nice black folks. Wait, black in a, like black in, black in, ops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Is that black ops. That's, that's, oh, wow. black, that's what the wow. civilians call it. They call black, it black ops. ops. Oh. Zach is with Black Ops right now. I, you know, it, we're, <laughs> here's the funny thing: when anyone ever tells me, like, "Yeah, man, I've done some Black Ops," I've done. I, dark no, ops. I stop <laughs> listening. I'm, I'm completely gonna. <laughs> hey, cha- hey, I'm gonna change this, and I'm gonna tell a quick story, man. Uh, my fifth. All right, of- hey, hey, before Matt, Matt, before you do, God Black Ops, Black Ops matter. <laughs> Black Ops matter, <laughs> dude. That's God. a great shirt, <laughs> Ross. I'll tell Our you, shirt. I'll tell I you how. Already, I'll tell already you how done. you know you're gonna get laid in the special operations community right here. My fifth deployment. I'm in Blood. Um, and we're hanging out of the pool, Area so we J. were doing night Area operations, yada Area yada. We, yeah, we'd come back. Area J, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> and, and so I'm sitting at a pool. You know, back in those days, it was a big fob. We we're, were killing motherfuckers like crazy. It was great. But long story short, I'm sitting in the pool, and there's this fucking beautiful Air Force girl in a bikini. Mm. I'm like, there's no way I'm getting laid. I swim over her. AC one thirty gun bunny. Because Ross, we all wear different um, like attire over there, like. So we wear, like, just black shorts, so you obviously know we're not fucking regular army guys, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I, I swim over next to her and just kind of chilling, and then she, this is literally the words out of her mouth. She goes, hey, are you, like, black ops? <laughs> and I was just like, uh, that's the gayest term ever. I was like, yes, yes, I am. <laughs> uh, fast forward about a week, <laughs> I, was, I was fucking her in my high lux. <laughs> black ops, ew, say it, ew, black ew, ops. Ew, ew. It was it was a good time. Hey, 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 at any point was she a civilian? By the way, uh, no, she was in the air force. She's security forces, but oh, it, yeah. it was literally like that. Deployment was the epitome of what manliness would want to be. You're literally mm-hmm. leaving out at like 10 p.m., shooting people in the face all night, coming back, going to a pool. Tanning but, at a pool and then fucking a hot ass is, Air Force girl. I was like, if this could be my life for the rest of my whole entire that life, that is the I, Air I'm Force in, hierarchy, in. though. Like that's what it's like for us. Like what? we're a, we're a beret wearer, so there's three. You got the combat controllers, you got the PJs, and you got us, the tech P's. Whether yeah, but Jared, are are you serious, shooting people in the face and then tanning again. yourself? Well, I mean, we, their di- their missions a little different. We do some well, different shit. Why do you yeah. think the Air Force girls bang army guys? Am I right, Rocco? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when we're on an Air Force base, all you got to do is have that beret, and then they want to talk. Bing bang so boom. It. I don't. It's, it's called, funny. It's called the, the beret. beret. Lay. My, it's, it, there's actually a name for it. Wow. Oh, I got a beret lay. In my three deployments, <laughs> man, I I don't think I, I saw maybe one or two women. I remember my mom sent me a a letter. And it smelled amazing. Yeah, and you that, smell it. You're like, yeah, you're like, oh, God, yeah, gross. Who, who sent this? And I was like, my mom. Ew. I, dude, because you never sm- even smell women, dude. Well, yeah. so I, that, on that note, sorry, one sec, JT. I, that was st- the first deployment that we'd been around women. Because, you know, because yeah, we did, cause we did we've a never, together, We've got our own campuses, dude. Or, we're always so ostracized from everybody else. And that one deployment, like, you're going to let me have a Hilux where I can we're gonna, drive to Maine? 
post. Crazy. Crazy. Awesome. We're going to finish yeah. our sponsors and then we'll go okay, back. Okay, fuck it. Let's go. Let's, go. Let's go. Tonight's episode is brought to you by Michael Bay's film, 13 Hours, The Secret yeah. Soldiers of Benghazi, yeah. who Chris yeah. Tonto Peranto is a very good personal friend of ours, and he will always be a good personal friend of ours. And if anybody talks shit on him, fuck you, because we will be there. Fuck with with else. dicks out, ready dicks to butt out. fuck. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we'll be ready to butt. Dragons. Wait, what? We're like two dragons. <laughs> <laughs> and then who is, who is our final sponsor on this one? We just Helen just... Keller versus oh, Nightwolves. There it is. Wait, Helen. wait, wait, Ross. What's Helen not, Keller? What's both Helen Keller? movies are equally the same, by the way. What's, Hel- <laughs> what's, Which what's Helen? Which Helen Keller? Oh, oh, wait. I'm I'm sorry. I'm I'm tapping the microphone. I couldn't see or hear you. I, oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Helen Keller. Alan Keller. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I got the joke. It Which you can watch. Nailed it. God. God. Listeners, Listeners nailed everyone, it. everyone that listens to this episode, you can watch Helen Keller versus Nightwolves for, for free, free on YouTube. For free? Yep. All you have YouTube, to do is YouTube, and if you want, hey, and I, w- I will say this, even though I gave it away for free to the world, uh, everybody's been buying the DVD on fucking Amazon, so I've been stoked. That's awesome, man. And we actually, uh, yeah, we, yeah. we're actually in it. We're in the whole thing. Yeah. We are all of us. The whole crew, the whole crew is in the movie. All, all I gotta four admit, of us. Ross, I never thought I would film for one day and be in a movie that much. <laughs> I, 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 I never thought I'd film for one day and be that tired. We were exhausted. Yeah. Well, welcome to a St. James movie. Dude, we, welcome to a St. James talk Street about James that, how, movie. How I text you the night before and I'm like, hey, dude, I gotta go to this fucking selection thing. Am I gonna fuck you if I don't show up? And you're like, yeah, you know, a night. Before. No, you were you were fucking with my life at that point. Yeah. I, fi- uh, I yeah. finally had Matt, Ross Patterson Matt, on our t- on our side. It was Matt like, had yes. eight pages of dialogue, <laughs> and it's like, oh hey, can I bounce or are we good? <laughs> Listen, uh, we're good. Like you could find somebody, right? It's only eight pages of dialogue. Well, <laughs> imagine that, now knowing what you knowing. Yeah. Imagine if somebody would have called you on range fifteen and said, oh hey, we lost the colonel. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're right, dude. You're right. But I, I, I just so you know, crazy. I took a fucking hit on there. I showed up at like three in the morning and then had to be running. I think what twelve miles at seven a.m. So I fucking ate that one hard. But but we did. And, and but Matt, I retired. You, you know we always, you, you know yeah yeah you know we always say on the show. Thank you for your service. You know, thank you <laughs> for your service. at the, at the end of the day, I'm I'm no Jared Taylor. I'm a Matt Best. You yeah, know? Jared, so Jared, we're okay. you're, you're not. But hey, but Jared hey, Taylor it, it is the Valentine's Day episode. It is the Valentine's Day episode. If we could date anybody, it would be Jared, because we know he's going to put out. <laughs> you don't know that. What? We know that. What? Yeah, we do. I would we actually, do. Yeah, we yeah. do know that. I feel like if, yeah. if I could, if we had a, I would bang Rocco, like if you were a chick, Whoa. but then I would date Jared, just because Jared is so like, oh, he, would, he, he would lock himself in his room, where you never have to worry about him. He's nope. going to invite people over. You yeah. don't care about yeah. it. But like, he has these so, moments of brilliance where you're like, where did that come from dude and like that would be fun it'd be, you'd only have to hang out with me like two days a week exactly i'd be doing weird shit exactly like i met so a matt, dude matt 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 i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna post you up then i'm gonna post you up on this one in a game of fuck mary kill who is jared oh. with, with you three <laughs> yeah oh with my us god three. we're fuck doing mary this? kill who is jared dude i gotta admit i wouldn't kill any of you guys uh I, ah, shit. but you have to you that's have to. the game you that's the game matt you gotta kill somebody I, You've dude, killed strangers. I know strangers. exactly who you should. All right, so I would. I <laughs> oh fuck. Okay, you're gonna put it that way. <laughs> I would fuck you, Ross. Ooh. I, I would. Wow. I would. Okay. I would marry Rocco and I'd Whoa. kill Jared. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> that would be so yeah. hard. Rock, Rocco and I just we know each other. Yeah. It's so easy. Like, that's easy. I was an easy marriage. It's bro. not a like, yeah, it's Easy like, marriage. I would hey, hold. <laughs> I would hold the handle of the knife and just look into your eyes like. <laughs> <laughs> no one can see the face he's yeah, making he's, right he's, now, but it's so he's gross. So sad. He's sad. He's crying. Crying eyes. Puppy like, I feel, I feel like who's Jared is entrapped in like a 1990s fucking romance novel. So I feel like in in like 1998, I would want to have a summer fling with Jared because it'd be so much fun. You Just know? a little, summer. but only three months. After three months, I'd be like, I'm done. Well, yeah, that's so. So Jared, so Jared, who's your fuck Mary kill out of the group? Well, I would want to kill you just because it would be theatrical, theatrical. (laughs) Like it would, it would not be a boring feat. It would be like, (laughs) like I honestly think you would, you to me would be like Bill Murray on your deathbed in uh, in that zombie movie, where you're still making jokes as your last breath, just just because. So yeah, you're yeah, my I, kill. I, I definitely go out like that. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, you know, I married Rocco because I I wouldn't marry Matt. He'd cheat on me. <laughs> oh, dude, that's a fucking win. You know, it's that true. comment, you know it's bro. True. I don't think we've ever laughed that hard. I'm just kidding. Mel, Mel, it's all lies. <laughs> <laughs> no, because oh my I'm, God, dude. I'm not hot. <laughs> he's, he's, he's crying. Jared is crying. Literally, tears coming out of his fucking face. Oh my God, dude. That was Jared. Give me a fucking hands out. What the funny? That was fucking epic, funniest dude. fucking things I've ever heard. Holy shit! I wouldn't marry. <laughs> it was so sincere. Yeah, he goes, so- I wouldn't marry Matt because you. Cheat on he me. goes, and I'm not good looking. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, fucking fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, God damn. Thank you. Thank that, you that, that was. Great. That was. <laughs> 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 that was <laughs> That was, that was amazing, bro. <laughs> so Rocco, who's so, your wait, who's wait, your wait. fuck Mary Kill? Uh, who's your fuck Mary so Kill? So, on so this? you're gonna marry Rocco? Yeah. And the, or were you fucking me then? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, because you just have to have your experience and then let it go. <laughs> <laughs> you answered is so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so, Slit his fingers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I think I would. Uh, I'd fuck Ross. I'd uh, I'd, I'd kill JT and I'd marry him. God me. damn. Yeah, I'm oh, sorry. Same, dude. Yeah. <laughs> You guys are samesies over there. You're As if I wouldn't there. come up with some scheme that got you invited to the White House and made you rich. I'm sure you would. No, <laughs> it's not about that. But I'd be dead. It's about who you... <laughs> <laughs> I'd be dead. <laughs> I, I haven't laughed that hard in a while, dude. Thank you'd you. Be so hey, Ross, bad, you'd be Ross, you'd be stuck in a single bar oh, with Matt. Shit. Yeah, I want to hear Ross's. I want to hear Ross's. <laughs> so, so, Ross, what is your fuck, Mary kill? I want to know. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> my, my, my fuck, Mary kill out of the group? Yeah. I, obviously, I I I kill, I kill, I'd kill Jared. God I'd kill damn Jared it. He killed me. <laughs> God he killed damn. me. Three for three. Three for three. You're so full of shit. <laughs> I have to kill Jared. I have, have to kill fun you. with you any of these me. assholes. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not about that, Jared. You killed me. I have to kill you now. It's it's a it's no, a it's lover scorned no, it's lover not, situation. Because you know it is. You. I'm talking about the seven year mark. The seven year mark with any of these two, you're going to be fucking wanting an exit strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Jared, you, ju- you just so killed true. like like so two true. minutes ago. You just killed me. You just killed me two minutes ago. Wait, so you, wait, wait, are you judging this decision off of or basing this decision off of animosity, or or is this like what you truly believe? No, uh, yeah. Jared look, I'm, I'm a yeah. look, yeah. I'm a, I'm a dark motherfucker. Like you just killed me, Jared, and then you you said how you would do it. So now I've got to kill you. Wow. Um, this, okay, okay, okay. But I want to know, are you going to fuck me or are you going to marry me, Ross? I'm going to fuck you, Matt. Ah, I'm definitely going to wow. fuck you. Why am I always Because I don't piece. think... Big Poppy's three Here's the I thing. Told you, you got to enjoy I don't, it for I don't one think, night and then leave it there. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't think Rocco... I don't think Rocco allows himself to be fucked for a night. Boom, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's a long term thing. But, I mean, you can. It's a long term I mean, thing. You're looking at semantics now. Just yeah, but like, still, you can't be married to Rocco. Look at you two in a bed together. They don't yeah, make a bed that's that not big. <laughs> like you can, <laughs> they don't make a bed that big. It's a California king. Yeah, it's a California be, king. It's, huge. it's okay, not wider, Rocco. It's, it's, it's only longer. longer. Yeah. Right? yeah, the bullshit of California kings. They're not. Yeah, I'm wrong. They're not. I'm a longer guy. You know what I'm saying? You get an extra six inches on the feet. That's fucking bullshit. Plus, you guys have like seven kids sleeping in that bed with you <laughs> i'd get an abraham lincoln bed i'd get an abraham lincoln bed that? one that's really long there's no headboard you know? <laughs> oh didn't no i think this is horse shit because you're not gonna get along with rocco <laughs> why i agree wait, why you, would you get along you, with you guys wouldn't have a good marriage no you, guys, you and ross ross no. would have G- jared everybody wait but did everybody kill jared everybody killed jared yes. right? yeah everybody did yeah, well, Rocco Jared and you are by, too by alpha, everyone. dude. Ross, you and Rocco are too alpha. Like Jared and I are more submissive once in a while. I'm, I'm cool with anything until I'm like, fuck that. You, dude. you and, and Rocco have... would fight over where the <laughs> fucking Christmas tree exactly. is supposed to go. <laughs> yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> and and all your friends would hate you both because all you would do, you would be that that couple on the Hawaii but they would, vacation. They would vi- just fighting, but they would violently fuck and make it up. So oh, like, God. yeah, oh, you know, it would just be a, God, like, a hammer. Ha- they would they would call it hammer time. Yeah. Hey, you I- made me so mad. I'm ready. <laughs> to go hammer time. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> hammer time. Yeah. We should call I'm, I'm sick of you. It's hammer time. time. We got to call this episode Hammer Time. I feel, well, I feel like, no, I feel like it is, we do. It is uh, the, the, the Valentine's Day episode. I feel like you would write a note. <laughs> to Ross and be like, call me Journey because I don't stop believing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he wouldn't. He would write. He would just write on the fridge with a knife. He would carve into it like you left. There's no toilet paper in the house. Fuck face. <laughs> like, dude, I'm a real. You guys chill would dude. argue. Yeah, but you would argue. We probably would. Yeah, though. yeah. Because who's gonna buy toilet okay. paper? Yeah, you? No, but, but I, I, I think Rocco cleans. You would clean. You clean up, Rocco. I and clean nice more than that motherfucker. Yeah. yeah, Jerry cleans the most. We ha- we have wives that are amazing. I'm just. You've kidding. made a poor <laughs> Jerry, decision. Jerry, you don't Ross. even shower, so it's hard. That's a hard <laughs> one. You need <laughs> shower. shower. Hey, you know what? You think me so and Ross we watch sports. We can watch sports watch together. Sports you watch too. sports, but we watch like other you, sports you too. You don't need everything I watch, I to be. Watch, I'm like, I'm the trying same. to get the title. Hey, I always said I'd marry you, bro. Oh yeah, you yeah. Did. Don't get me. I'm just, okay, I'm just. Cool, cool. <laughs> Thanks, baby. You don't need to have. The, you don't need to do everything <laughs> together. <laughs> We're all getting jealous. So we are like, hey, yo, you do everything together. Hey, you yeah. said you wouldn't pull for me, bro. I'm just saying. He has sports, and he's like, I'm going to the sports bar. I'd be like, cool. Yeah, you know, I tell him, yeah, let's go. Let's get fucking drunk too, boy. Yeah. Dude, and it Robbie, doesn't work. Guess going to it that sports work. bar with you. I'm going to that sports bar with there you, Rocco. You hey, no. Ross. Ross. It's boom. cool. It doesn't work uh, like that. Ross, I actually asked uh, Jared this question if he'd marry, fuck, or kill one with Evan, and he said, all but kill. So we, we know where his, <laughs> <laughs> his heart lies. He wants to marry, yeah. fuck, and then indirectly kill Evan at the same time. We would just so. fake it. It would be like plastic swords. Like, hey. I, you know, no. I think you guys, <laughs> So gross. I think you guys would kill each other. Like Star Wars. I think they would kill each other yeah. together in a blaze of passion. Yeah. Yeah. I think you guys would both kill each other in a blaze of passion. Like one, two, we three. We would style. take the potion. We would take the Romeo and Juliet potion. So what's up? We got Valentine's Day going on, Ross. <laughs> Let, lay some knowledge on Valentine's yeah. Day, buddy. Oh boy, I got look. I got a lot of uh, knowledge on Valentine's Day, but first, what, what are we drinking? What are we drinking, real quick? Oh, oh we shit, didn't we get haven't into touched that, that yet. Shit. God. Yeah, uh, listen. We're, I think we're all drinking the same shit. We're knocking out two podcasts tonight. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm getting fucking drunk uh, off some lead oh, I d- Hey, I, I got some deep Eddie vodka from uh, Ooh, from Austin, Texas. Eddies. It's one of my favorite. I'm going. I, it's one of my favorites. I'm going Tito's and ice, my friend. Tito's and ice. Dude, I got to admit, Whoa. Tito's is on point, man. They they are like what. What we wish we could be. Yeah, they've done it right. So legit, dude. They've done it right. They've done it right. What are you drinking, Uh, I'm just going. I'm sipping from the bottle of Let Slingers where where Matt's drinking from. You are sipping. I'm I'm pouring. You're sipping. Yeah, I'm just sipping. Getting after it. I like it. You are. You are sipping. Hey, Rocco. So, so you have any big plans with your lady for this Valentine's Day? What are you doing? No, man. Usually on on Valentine's Day, I try to cook a nice meal. So I'm right now. I've been kind of googling, looking for a cool meal that I could try and put together and uh, be successful at. And then you know, I usually do the normal. Is Is it Mexican? No, no, it's actually something. Usually, going to be some kind of steak or some kind of nice. you know pastas and shit like that. I really Tube try and I really steak. try and do 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 something extreme with Tube cooking. Steak. But uh, besides that, no, no tube steak. No, no, that comes after dinner. Comes <laughs> no after tube dinner. steak. That's yeah. dessert. Yeah, but after well, may, that, hey, may, maybe maybe any of our drinking bros out there can submit their recipes to you on the drinking bros. Yeah, podcast. that'd be cool. We have any cooks fan out there, page? That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. Um, but yeah. my daughter usually does the dessert for me. She cooks dessert real, real good. So we'll do that. I usually Belle. have the kids like yeah, Bell. But I usually have the kids help out. But uh, I'll probably do some some kind of flowers, something different. I don't like to do the red roses or the white roses. I try to do something like exotic and different. And then uh, you know we'll I'm, see what goes from there. I'm just waiting my turn. Why I hate Valentine's Day? Yeah, <laughs> hey, dude. Uh, no, I've, Jared. Back to Jared. I've never done it. I don't think. No, I mean, wow, me and, ever in your whole life? Well, me and Kaylin, like, she always gets me really cool shit. Yeah, like every one of her gifts is always she, awesome. She's a boss. Yeah, yeah like she, a drone, a Wacom pa- tablet, yeah. where I could draw and illustrate. A lot her, of like, thinking. You're, goes you're on really not like, deserving of it, but Kaylin is slider, like, yeah, like everything crazy. she's ever got me furthered. Our production assets <laughs> and everything, and it's great. Um, <laughs> shit, I, 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 don't know. <laughs> I, I just like the fact that it's pushed your relationship Dude, further I'm apart. Yeah. What? Everything she gets you pushes your relationship further apart <laughs> because it's production <laughs> stuff. Okay. So it's like, oh, thanks yeah. for this. I'm going to spend hours doing this. And not, <laughs> Here's a drone. You. I'm going to fly it all night long. What do you, you, do you ever think she gets she gets it on purpose though, Jared? Where she's just like, "Oh, hey, here's this drone. Go fly it for nine days. I'll see you in nine days." Jared. No, I think she genuinely just knows that's what's going to make him happy, and she goes out of yeah. way to do it, which she's, is like the sweetest. I she like is that. The expert I like that. Yeah, expert. She like, really level. is. That you know, is it. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> 
I talk about Mel's gift giving, but she sucks at it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, literally, or what are you talking about? Well, no, I mean, she wants to fuck more than I do, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> she, she, Mel, Mel's a gift giver. She's like, I got us this. I'm like, you bought that for yourself, just, and gave it to me. <laughs> like, gift. I gave like, my wife a vacuum. <laughs> yeah. She I really wants it. It's a Victoria's <laughs> Secret <laughs> gift card. I, a Victoria's I Secret a gift, gift card. It's, yeah, it, well, I would be cool with that. It's, it's a gift that's given. Like, I bought myself a I Dyson. I got 17 boxes of wine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, this is how it goes down. Literally, it's like, it's like <laughs> baby, I, I, I unwrap a Dyson fucking vacuum. And she's like, well, I bought it with your credit card. But I'm going to clean the house. I'm like, oh, Yay! <laughs> Yay! That's Yay. the 30th birthday Yay. ever. This is super Yay. cool. This is good for all but of us. But I don't us. have to clean the house, so pro- props to her. She's, fucking, she's a hard worker. So fuck Valentine's Day, Ross. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no, wow. I hear you. All right. I hear Ross, you. what's your I hear plans? Because, you. you know, you got your lady. I, I, look, we can do. I, I, yeah, I go super low-key. So it starts around 8 a.m. I release 90 white doves. They're super rare. Oh, um, wow. So I release, I release the white doves, and then I, I, I profess my love. I'm already yeah. embarrassed with my answer. Yeah. Uh, Mike Tyson then releases a set of pigeons after that. He comes over to the house. <laughs> uh, a set of pigeons. Then, then, then we casually, again, super low-key, we take a limo to our blimp, and then we get on a blimp and then go for a blimp ride around the city. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, I usually, uh, I, yeah, I, I usually take her to, like, you know, an inauspicuous, uh, really expensive dinner. And is, we have a nice time like with that. Is this like your time? Dude. Is this like where you do the reset of you won't find anyone better than me, so don't try, bitch? No, no, no. <laughs> Here, here's what it is. Well, I, I, my, want, my, I so my want parents, to interrupt right now, Ross, because you- My inter- parents got married on Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. Dude, you indirectly could not have made a better segue to the rant that I'm about to do. Go ahead, Matthew Best. Go ahead. Let's hear it. So this he is, man, woman, haters. No, nah, dude. So this is the thing. <laughs> you literally just said- that on Valentine's Day, you you have to do this, whatever big fucking show of a dinner. You, I don't I don't have to. I know I you do don't because, because I love your, I, your I wife. Love your wife is one of the most amazing people I've ever met. But I'm saying that that's she is awesome. what your obligation is, right? This is what, no no. You know, oh. you, I like it. My but my parents got married on Valentine's Day, so I let me got preface engaged it by on, saying that. On, on Valentine's Day, and it it. Cost so which a, one? It cost me a lot of lawyer fees <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of blackmail. Oh so we can God. go down that road. No, dude, this is my problem with Valentine's Day. And and this is what I, I stay to it. I, I like the idea of like having a day where like, hey, spend this with your significant other. But Valentine's Day itself is based off expectations, right? So expectations on Valentine's Day, and a lot of girls are this way, and guys too, are who did the thing better, right? I went to this dinner. I went to that. It shouldn't be about that. It should be about spending quality time with your significant other. Yeah. It shouldn't be about like, oh. Uh, that's what uh, Facebook does that, now, well, too. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's social a media. Now. Dude, yeah. we can get in this whole fucking grand thing, but the, at the end of the day, it's like, oh, Vince, oh, you only bought a, a dozen roses. I bought a baker dozen. Yeah. Like, well, no, now it's, Facebook it's cool. is like, right. We, I bet you right now on February 14th, we're going to see every fucking dumb chick online go my boyfriend my husband's the greatest fucking person right. ever he got exactly. me a pool so- full of fucking bulldog beer <laughs> yeah. and roses and, and, and then of course you, your so- wife comes in like well shelly got so a so pool. my wife if my wife ever compared it's on like it, I, I, it's the thing but it's, that's not <sighs> I, go, go I know ahead. what you're saying my problem is like I don't think I've given her like the, the, like don't ever expect like this and that like this is just I'm not one of those days. I'm saying I know, the I'm not holiday saying she is. itself. Oh, I know, fake I know. Snow. I think they I, never expect I think fake, I'll, snow. <laughs> fake snow. That's too expensive. Yeah, <laughs> involves like three machines, a preparatory I know, man. piece. I think it's yeah. one of those things, man. Where, like I don't want to ever give in to just because society thinks today is or, or that day. I, I'll is tell that you what, day guys. Day. I'm gonna get some goddamn advice. Are you still there, Ross? Oh yeah, I'm oh, here. I'm yeah. listening God loud and loud. Advice. Wait, wait the fuck up. What the listen God up. damn advice. I'm, I'm quiet listen, as a fucking and, and church mouse because I know day. my wife's going to listen to this shit. Good. You know what I'm saying? The reason you should listen to my advice is because I have <laughs> probably some of the most failed relationships on this world. Listen, I have, kill your wife. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, listen, at the end of the day, and this, this is what I live by, man. Like, like, things that make people happy are unexpected, like, nuances, right? So, like... I could I could buy my chick a bunch of roses and do all this crazy shit for Valentine's Day. Gay. It's expected, right? I don't do that. Mel and I don't do that. And and I appreciate that she doesn't want that. But when it's like a Wednesday on March fucking 20th and I come home with flowers and I say I love you, 
she's like, holy fuck, man, that was special. Because that's what's more important in a relationship is like the day to day grind of like knowing that you're looking out for your significant other and they're looking out for you, man. Like that's what a relationship it is. It's like the, the the sum is greater than the parts, right? It's such a gay analogy, but like it's about being a team and and it, and Valentine's Day is. It, I know I hate every fucking holiday. I feel like that's I'm that guy. But and like you're like, oh shit, I didn't pay the water bill. And she's like, I got the water bill. You're like. Fuck Thank yeah, you. that's hot as fuck, dude. <laughs> so it's like fuck this whole thing with Valentine's Day. It's like, well, because and, and I'm gonna watch the debauchery I need to pay the water bill. on on February 15th. All these people that are gonna get engaged. I I was one of gay. them, man. I got engaged on fucking. It was the worst decision Double of my life. Double gay because I fell into it. But <laughs> we're good, man. You guys, life is it. Good. Hey, here's the thing, man. It's not for me. It, it, it's I guess it's how you take it, man. I don't see it that way. I see it as okay. Everyone recognizes it as one of these romantic days. Well, I'll, I'll make sure I take the time and actually try and be romantic. But I, I, I try not to go out of my way and spend like but all this money, but just because I know that's what, Rocco, what's expected. You're a good husband every day, so that kind of diffuses the whole semi. point of making semi it. <laughs> semi. I, I, I don't <laughs> clean. I don't clean. <laughs> Fuck cleaning. You don't I'll throw cook, it through I'll windows. Cook, I mean, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's good. It's like, better than Chris Brown. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> do you get my point though, Ross? I'm, I'm, I'm. You know, you, you I know do. What I'm saying? I do. Don't everybody, be cliche. Look, everybody's different. Everybody's different on Valentine's Day. I get it. Everybody's got their no, own you, reasoning. You Rocco it to and have I are, a good time. And Rocco it. and I are better people. <laughs> <laughs> Rocco and I are better humans than you guys. And that's listen. It's I fine. guarantee. We love Ro- our wives. And listen, you don't. Mel, Mel you is going to get some flowers, some candles, and a lot of dick on Valentine's Day, and she will be a How happy much? girl. <laughs> How much? How much? Candles? Candles? All, you're all no. two inches, dude. I'm no, throwing I mean, all like, two are inches. You going, are you going for a three a day on on Feb 14th? Dude, we do three day on normal. Ooh, that's, oh, I'm oh, already. Do you get all hopped? You get all hopped Dude, up on Seattle. I got to really you. go for it. Like really, I've got a, I've got a serious medical question. Since I, I, I think I brought this up in Vegas, yeah. I'm losing my hearing when I'm jerking off. Yeah, yeah, that happens. That's bad, right? No, no, it's it's something to do. What? Like, it's, it's, something, it's something to do with blood, <laughs> blood pressure. Is it really? Something really? To do with blood pressure. Yeah, really? I don't, like so when yeah, it's like hearing shuts off. I hear almost like dubstep, and then and then and then it goes, and it goes, man. Yeah, and then <laughs> my ears are ringing, and I come. I almost pass out. My vision gets blurred, uh, and then I'm back. I have the same problem. I don't know what that is. <laughs> no, no clue. That you're, is. is this the so, real so thing? Yes. 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 You, up, yes. you hear a. I literally. You guys are gonna have heart You hear a per- percussion grenade. Yeah, going, dude. Yeah, you hear a per- per- I have the same fucking thing, dude. Dude, hearing goes out. Yeah. Vision gets blurry. You almost pass out, but then you're like, "Oh, that was awesome." Yeah, like I don't know what that is. I think it's also because I do a what lot of. What the fuck? T- yeah, t- I almost I, slammed into the side of the what shower the today. Fuck? Just <laughs> Ross, it's a, it's I got a, Ross, Ross, save us, so, Ross, yeah. save us. <laughs> yeah, it's a, so you're hearing like a percussion grenade is what you're oh, saying, like, dude. That's what it, like, it's like, like just walk through one. Yeah, like like as soon as it goes. Hearing stops and you just hear, gah, 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 and then a, a, a large whine like, yeah. Oh my God. So every time you beat off, it's like, the, it's like the ending it's, of it's, hurt. If it's, of it's hurt a violent, if it's I a violent honestly, one. I know. I honestly think it might have something to do with hot water because it only Maybe. happens in the shower. Man, I don't know. I think it's overheating what? bodies. Really? Yeah, because I'll tell you, I, man, I don't know, man, but yeah. I, it's happy funny. Valentine's right, Day, so ladies. I just, I just, happy <laughs> Valentine's Day. Well, I'm not a scientist, but it's called when it's things are hot, your vessels are dilated, which means more oxygen and blood flow to your heart, which is if you have... No, I'm not getting an oxygen. Issue. That's why I'm almost passing out. But if you have a high blood pressure issue, it releases... Your, your vessels are more dilated. I know. We got to so. see. We got to... We, we should check this I would out. go to a doctor. If there's any doctors listening... <laughs> yeah. Go yeah, to a doctor, If you're a doctor you and you, or if you're a God person that it. suffers from going deaf during... Jerking off, please. Or intercourse, or intercourse. I've had that happen. I have not. Ha- I've not had. Dude, it, like, I, actually... I had to tell Julie. I was like, "Oh man, is, is there something wrong? My hearing, my hearing gone. Ringing, ringing like a con- concussion. Yeah, me. it's weird. Like we just went through. Uh, you know, we yeah. just breached a couple doors. We're just a fucking IED, just right on the side <laughs> of the road, off a of Yarmouk traffic circle, bro. <laughs> you remember Yarmouk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a Mosul joke. That's a Mosul joke. Skate skirt. <laughs> God, that town. Oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Ross. Sorry, Ross. We had a medical issue. Yeah, that they got real no, weird. No, I, I get it. I get it. Hey, congratulations. Again, happy Valentine's Day to all the ladies out <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Really winning them over. <laughs> and, and by the way, Jared, you you asked me a you asked me a creepy question today, Jared, and I want to get into this. I didn't ask you it was a creepy real weird. question. You did. Uh, you said you asked me who my favorite childhood girlfriend was under sixteen. Yeah, pre sixteen. The, the reason why I say pre sixteen yeah. is because dating was weird 
before you could drive. No, that's because a it was question. always either your house or her house. There was never any privacy. You always had those weird rules: doors open, all that shit. You could be caught by fucking parents. Like so, what what was your favorite, Rocco? You're first. What was your favorite girlfriend pre sixteen? I actually didn't have a girlfriend until until seventeen. Yeah, what? yeah. Really, I'm serious. <laughs> Uh, that's a, that's. Are you fucking kidding me, Rocco? I swear, are you, you kidding me, dude? I had this whole. My dad was like, "Listen, girls are gonna ruin your life." I'm gonna go piss and yeah, let yeah, you guys yeah. handle this. Yeah, I was saying, girls are gonna ruin your life. Uh, you know, girl. It's kind of that whole dad talk. Like, like girls are girls are not gonna do. Once you get your mind on girls, you're not gonna do what you want to do. And baseball is so important to me. I really, I, I was so nervous about talking to girls that it was gonna ruin my chances of becoming a professional baseball player. And I didn't have a girlfriend until the summer of. 11th to 12th, you know, and then... And You're already then, driving. Yeah. So it's different. So you had places, parking lots, oh, my, cars. Yeah. You had you had <laughs> places to go. Yeah. You had places to go. Because things things dramatically changed once I, I started driving. So I, I wanted to ask Ross what yeah, well, what his favorite what was. was your, yeah. Let's yeah, go yeah, Ross. No, no, no. I, yeah, let's hear Ross. I, I, <laughs> man, this is a, this is a toss-up. There, there, there was a couple girls in the neighborhood, things that are close. Um, you know, girls that were really, really close. But then I will say this. I was the youngest in my little group of friends, so uh, they were driving before me. So older friends were driving, and then I would hook up, like, in the back seats of their cars while, while I would make them drive me around. Oh, man. Which that's... was... Re- which was really fucked up because I could see their eyes. That's so it'd be like, Jared, if you were driving me and then making eye contact with me in the rear view mirror, that's what it was like. I mean, I've had that happen a lot of times with Matt and everybody. Like, shit. I mean, who hasn't Yeah, in the back of my car? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> well, what kind of car do you drive for the audience? Let the audience know what kind right of car now? you drive. Yes. Uh, a Jeep Cherokee. Grand Cherokee. There it is. Thank you. And, so, but that's it. That's a comfortable vehicle. It is leather. Seats. That's a comfortable vehicle. It's got dual climate control. No worries. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's got a hard. So drive imagine in a, it. a, imagine a Mazda Miata. Oh God, things that things are a little tight back there. Dude, there's no uh, back the space seats is cramped as is. That's funny. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere to hide. No, not at all. Hilarious. Well, who was yours, Jared? Yeah. Who was your girl? Yeah. Uh, I had a, it was it was eighth grade. I oh, think was the geez. coolest one because I started my first. I'd say real girlfriend was first week of seventh grade. Wow. That's when I first made out with a girl. Damn. That's when I started uh, raping. Okay. Chicks, you know. It was it was in October. Yeah. I know that. Uh, <laughs> hey, J- song, Jared, mine was seventh seventh grade too, by the way, if, if we're going a, that, that, that far. That was my back. first make out. Seventh building grade. a mystery. Sarah McLaughlin, a girl named Sarah Gagne. But my favorite one pre <laughs> Building yeah. a mystery. Uh, I, I can remember all of it. Um, <laughs> God damn, man! Uh, my favorite one was a girl named Maggie Rogers. Like it, she was, it would be Maggie. She yeah. was super cool. Yeah. Um, she got I, she got me the coolest Christmas gift as uh, in my teenage years, which was uh, at the time Blink had come out with that uh, limited edition CD that uh, was the Mark Thomas. Oh Travis God! Show. It's all it's all '90s bands oh, with you. It really stop. is, and it this hasn't was, ended. Was, this is 1997. We're talking about. Yeah. I know, but I'm saying, like, do you think Maggie Rogers had this effect on your musical career? Yes. Because all yeah. you listen to is, is I mean, 90s yeah. music Because shit. I told her I'd already had the CD, <laughs> but I would love to have a, an unopened copy, and that's what she got me for Christmas was the unopened copy of Mark, Tom, and Travis show, and I still have that sealed <laughs> to this day. Wow. Um, she snowboarded, so she Ew. was super cool. Like, we went snowboarding yeah. together. He has these, like, romanticized... Oh, right. Like, Historical representations of what his childhood. Remember, was, I didn't. Know? I didn't Just do like, drugs as yeah. a kid. I remember fucking everything. <laughs> you don't. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you have the memory. You, do you have the memory now. of an you elephant. Just drink way too much. Just yeah, like but me. I still yeah, you, have a you have the memory of an elephant. Sick memory. Um, and she was just super. <laughs> wait, wait, cool. Ross. I have do, no idea why we broke up. Do elephants remember. have good memories, Ross? I the best. So. They're the best yeah. goddamn animals with the best memories on the planet. Uh, yeah. I, need, I need that memory, dude. <laughs> so, if you sat down next to an elephant playing Jeopardy, the elephant Cheers. would house you. Cheers! Cheers, Cheers to Maggie you. Rogers. Cheers to Maggie Rogers. <laughs> Maggie Rogers. Maggie! You were awesome. Maggie! So, hey, so, Jared, mine was seventh grade also. I'll go, I think her name was uh, Melissa or Missy Adamski, blonde hair. Melissa. I used to go huge as breasts back then. Oh, Biggest shit. breasts back then won in my, that, that, yeah, that, yeah, Maggie had my good book. jugs that, that was before fake tits, you know. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, she also used to, to ride a dinosaur to school, so it was a nice thing. Oh, wow. But, um, 
Uh, biggest breasts always got it. Uh, that girl was really hot. I don't know what happened to her. It was seventh grade. I only lived. I lived in Florida for a I year. I hope she watched this podcast um, and, and listens. <laughs> no, I Ross. I can't I find too. the girl that I first made out with. She's disappeared too. Sarah Gagne. Oh, your Nowhere childhood to be found stories are Sarah Facebook. Gagne. Sarah Gagne. Hey, did you did you call her Gagne West? No, no. Because <laughs> Kanye. Who Sarah, the fuck is that? <laughs> Sarah Gagne West. It would be yeah. awesome if she married she married a, a guy named John West. Kanye and it was Sarah was not Gagne West back then. So. Kanye. But he is now. He, and he likes now, to get. So. Um, well, she spelled her name pegged. Gagney, G A G N E. Yeah, Gagney. Oh, there, was she French? Wrong with a cool was she pegging, French? You know, <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know much about her. There I mean, was we a dated baseball for three player named Eric Gagne for the Los Angeles Dodgers. We made years. out. That was it. Like after that, I, 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 maybe she dumped me because I was a bad kisser. I don't remember. Oh, There's God. a weird. There was a weird love triangle going on between me and her and Risa DiCicco. Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's the, there's a Forever 21 Re- name. Risa she shot recently, the Forever 21. Risa recently removed me from Facebook. Throw too. their throw their names out there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Fuck. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let, let's change it. God damn. Fucking man. Risa Jatico and God. Sarah Kanye. Fuck this Downtime's episode. <laughs> You're going back to fucking old loves. Dude, this Ugh. is seventh grade. This is the first week of seventh grade. There was I'll big... tell you what. There was a girl in seventh grade so... that, that I was good friends with, and I would say that, I guess you can say in that time we were we were boyfriend and girlfriend, but we were, really weren't. It was like, honestly, we, we barely even held hands. But then she stabbed the dude in the fucking throat. That's gangster. Yeah, and my That's mother, right, yeah, my mother gangster. made me break up with her or stop talking to her, if you will, because all she did was call on the phone. And so I had to stop talking to her because she was banned from LA Unified School Districts. Yeah, you had shit. to get home study. You know what's crazy about that time, gangster. though? To live and die in you LA. To, to live and die in LA. Live and die. Yeah. You had, to live you had and die. mothers and fathers that answered the phone, and you had to say, uh, Oh, yeah, the cordless phone that would run out of batteries, bro. Is Sarah there? Is, is, yeah. Is, I, I had a girl, Katie Pride, break my heart in seventh grade. Oh, gee. You guys. Are so funny. Oh okay. boy, Russ! I think what we need to go down with, with 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 the end of or whatever this episode is for for Valentine's. We've Day. got a lot of time. No, but we're not. We're not ending the episode. I'm ending the fucking Valentine's. Why? Day we're, talk. Me and Rocco are getting into <laughs> yeah, some yeah, 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 yeah. This is the fucking, Valentine's Day episode, yeah. Matt. Shut, uh, hey, shut, so, Matt, Matt, shut the fuck Matt, up. Let me what? Let me put what? it on you. Then where's your pre sixteen? Oh, no. For for Valentine's <laughs> Day, yeah. Who's your pre sixteen? Who is who is your favorite childhood girlfriend under sixteen? <laughs> oh man. Listen, I was a dude that hit puberty <laughs> at like seventeen, right before I joined the army, so I don't really have a pre pre sixteen fucking girlfriend. You had no girlfriends? Dude, I dated this girl, man. I'll, I'll put this out there. This man. is funny. I, it, <clears throat> I tried to rack him up as much as I could. My first girlfriend. All of them. My first girlfriend, dude, Jared. <laughs> you, you'll have a field day with this one, buddy. My I first, can't wait. My first girlfriend was in eighth grade, I think. Ish. Yeah. Uh <laughs> a vato, super fat Mexican girl. What? Yeah. Shut the fuck I, up. I, I, no swe- I swear in my life, dude. So we were setting. <laughs> was the- her name Christine? No, I don't Wait, know so what it was. When you say fat, how big was she? Uh, how many pounds? She. <laughs> I don't know what like sixteen year old terms is. She was thick, dude. <laughs> I mean, she was like super thick, but she had some ghetto. A, a booty, deuce, like, a deuce and a half. Was like she a deuce I, and like a half? she's was the she kind of girl where you sneeze on her. Dude, and she if you gets got pregnant, a fourteen year old that's weighing a deuce and a half, Ross, that's a big fucking fourteen year old. But I know how big was she, Matt. No, Is no, two hundred. Man, I had a weird thing. Man, I, I, I gone through my. Well, maybe it was like right before I started, I lost my Virginian shit. But like, I met this girl. It was like eighth grade. We started chatting. We like did the whole love letter thing and all that. And uh, yeah, real, real fucking weird. But Vato Mexican neck tattoos and like, <laughs> holy shit, yeah, man. That's Whoa, me, that, 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 that's hey, listen. That's why Rocco will marry me, and I want to marry Rocco. <laughs> There's love or fuck, if we fuck ever go Mary down the road, fuck Mary virginity <laughs> love story, like. Mine is the most awkward fucking. I don't hear they, they always are. They that's a whole. Are. That's a whole episode. No, yeah. to go down that. Road. Yeah, I, it is. I won't go that Wait, route. but but Matt, Yo, Matt, what? I want an opinion. I want an opinion. How big was this girl? So if you were to fuck a fat celebrity, how big? Like who who Ooh. who is it? She's like an Amy Schumer. Schumer. That's oh, not that big. Okay, I, I, I think she's right. fat too. I think <laughs> she's fat too. <laughs> and Jared right. came to that's her like defense what? immediately. She's, she's really. Fat. I mean, she's big. Like she's, she's, she's one sixty five. She said she's one sixty five. Yeah. No, she's bigger than she's me. She's not Ross. an Oprah Winfrey. I've been right? next we'll to there. her. She's bigger than me, and I'm two twenty. Wow. Are you really? Whoa. No, I mean, like two, two, <laughs> 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 Dude, I weighed myself today. I was two twenty five, bro. I'm in the two sixty still. I know, but I'm I'm big though. You're getting big. Yeah, look at <laughs> my <laughs> arms. Shut no, the fuck Jared, up, Jared. Dude, um, I did a workout. <laughs> 
Yeah, so, and whoever so, did that animation of Jared at, at, with huge biceps today, that, that, that made great. his world. Was, Dude, I know. I saw yeah. that. I was like, that's really misrepresentational of what Jared is. But no, that's I should cool, just, man. I should go straight cartoon for all of my existence. Like, <laughs> what, what's that band that does that? There's a whole band that does it. I don't it. know, but wait, who's your fat celebrity? Oh, yeah. Uh, Dead Mouse. Yeah. No, it's not Dead no, Mouse. It's... The other band. The one that's Danger Mouse? Uh, not the end of that. I've got sunshine. Gorillas. Um, gorillas. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. If I had to The Gorillas. A, a fat celebrity. The Gorillas? Yeah, who's your fat celebrity? Yeah. Uh, who's your fattest? Kristen Wiig. Which one's that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. She's one. She's 120. <laughs> Oh, she's like 120. She's a little <laughs> thick and wet, hot American summer. It's Nat- Natalie Portman. <laughs> <laughs> she's a little thick and wet, hot American no, summer. Pick one. Come on, cheater. Can I, I? I don't know if I put that. Out. Natalie Portman. I'm obsessed with. Like really? When when yeah. she was in V for Vendetta and she that's shaved great. her head. That's hot. I, I'm like obsessed with when her. When she did that rap for SNL. That yeah, was yeah, like, yeah, dude. That that's bad. the hottest bitch ever. That's why that's I, I, cool I have such an that was one of the affliction things. for her because with that that fucking rap, dude, it was so fucking She's good. Funny. Yeah, the, yeah. Well, I Natalie's mean, rap was great. Technically, if like, you oh, if shit, you dude. saw the photos this week of uh, Hillary Duff on vacation, I mean, yeah, she could dude. be my fat celebrity. You're so fucking. She's good. single now, she but she's single now, Jared. She's big, Ross. Did you see her? Uh, she's 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 your speed. I like you know you guys will be able to walk <laughs> Dude, that's so to funny. walk together. Ross, you'll be able to walk together. She's your speed. You'll both be out of breath. Is Christina Ricci fat? No, she's eh, not. I haven't seen her since. No, dude, what Black the Black fuck, no. bro? Just pick a real fat. You one. literally He's... keep naming people with bulimia. Like, Just name like a fat no, one, pick somebody name a fat. fat one. I don't know. Ross, I don't know a fat. Ross, one. I think you and I could could settle for this one. I think you and I want Dolly a, Parton. No, Adele. <laughs> Ross and I want Adele. I was gonna choose oh. Adele. Oh. Oh. I was gonna pick Adele. Yeah. 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 R- R- Ross and I want to be on a, a, a Thailand fucking like coastal yep. fucking. Cabin listening to Hello from the other side. Dude, one hundred percent. I was going to pick fuck. Adele. No shit. I'm waiting for me to say Adele. Yeah. <laughs> like I want to wake up. You're she's whistling cooking in eggs, my beaver. Singing, You're whistling yeah. in my beaver. Beautiful songs, bro. Yep. Like I'm not even worried about. It. Like I, I will, I will eat you out with your fat rolls. I'm not just, saying all just, that <laughs> just to hear her voice. She sings amazing. It's, I mean, beautiful. I want to do seriously yeah. serving you breaking an egg and in the morning. And Gaga, apparently Lady Gaga too. She's not fat. Sorry, I'm a little drunk. I know. She's not. She's I not see. fat. But 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 Adele. Adele's a winner. I see Jared with Rebel Wilson. Oh my god, dude! Who is from it? Pitch Perfect? Pitch Perfect. Yeah. Oh, dude. is she Fat Amy? Yes, yeah. Oh, she's yeah. That, I, I see, the, I see the two Amy? of you. She's yeah, so. I see funny. the two of you guys really getting along. Who's the girl from Bridesmaid? Uh, that's that's big. Oh, she's from Europe. I like her. Funny Rebel funny Wilson. Shit. That's Rebel no, Wilson. Same no, one. It's not. Same girl. No, it's not. Yeah, she's also in Bridesmaids. Oh, yes, no, she's at the beginning. Did... She lived with she lived with Kristen Wiig at the beginning. Oh, I'm talking I'll about the one that, that was in the. In, oh, in the you're talking about Melissa McCarthy. Melissa Dude, McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy. She right is yeah. hilarious. Love her. She's yeah, the, I'm she's still going English, to Dell. isn't she? I can't yeah. think of any good fat celebrities though. Uh, dude, you know what? Maybe Mimi from Drew Carey. No, just think Ew. people that. Are, oh, oh God! Oh, yeah. I dropped Jared, my phone. That's what? Too much. Me out You've gone too far. Oh, God damn! What? what? What's wrong with that one? Gross. Dude, she looks like Miss Piggy. <laughs> <laughs> like a human Miss Piggy. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> I imagine how much she's. Never mind. I don't want to be rude. Sweat. Oh, in the legs. Rocco, happy Valentine's Day again. Yeah, I know. Again. I'm being rude and shit. God damn. You can be like Beyonce and tell the single Ross, ladies. Ross, from a know. Hollywood perspective, when you put out notes to cast something, does it say like fat, ugly girl? It does. <laughs> by the way, it does. And, and, and girls, girls oh. get super offended by it. Like, uh, they'll, they'll leave. Like some or some people won't show up because of what you put. Like, oh, I'm looking for somebody slim, big busted, or whatever. A lot of girls dress the parts, and a lot of girls like. So I, I've had people turn them down. Uh, Rose McGowan, the uh, the actress from Charmed, she quit Hollywood because of this. This happened to her. What happened? The, 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 uh, a breakdown came out with a description of the character, and it said we need the the girls to be wearing tight sweaters, and you know, tight pants, and uh, like. Big cleavage, and she told them to go fuck themselves. Dude, she was one of the biggest rising stars. Her look was different. She was like a, yep. a, a Scarlett Johansson style kind I've of kind of female. Charms. What is it, dude? She was is that she a was UPN red. show. No, it was it was a uh, is that like, UPN. Isn't she like just a, she just got divorced last week. No way. Um, oh, so she's single. Was that yeah. on UPN? No, I think it was WBN or some shit. 
Oh, the WB? Well, uh, the, du- the WB, yeah. I, that, WB. Seventh Heaven. Which Seventh Heaven girl would you fuck? Oh, come on. Why do we have to go to Jessica Beale. Sometime? No, know, Jessica Beale. No, absolutely not. I do, I do the younger one. Of course you are. Of course you are, dude. <laughs> <would. laughs> That's odd. Shut up. What's her name, Rachel? Jer- Jared, honestly, if I, d- if I didn't know you, I think your last name was Fogel. I really would. <laughs> oh, that's you always yeah. go to the younger yeah, one. I didn't mean good. like younger in a sense. <laughs> I just well, liked her flat face. Wait, what? She I had to... bangs, dude. I like the bangs. Like when they. So I need this from Ross right now. <laughs> Ross, <laughs> Mr. Ross Patterson. <laughs> yes. So we are going to launch. Uh, we have a couple of marketing things coming out in the oh, next shit. month. Uh, in about two months, we are going to do the annual Relinquish Your Fate oh. Charity Challenge. Oh, yeah. dude. So it's what we, March. What we March. do is we offer up something that's fucking horrible that we don't want to do to raise money for a charitable organization. 100% of, not even proceeds, all the money that goes directly to the organization. Are you in? I'm in. Absolutely. Okay. 100% I'm in. So, we're, you, we're gonna, we're, so now you need you to have choose. To choose your I, I had to shave fate. my mountain beard last year. Uh, Rocco got a tattoo and Jared got tased. Wait, wait. I got a tattoo of an opposing company. Yeah, you got a Range Rep this tattoo. Year, this year, God, I, am, I am telling Chef Barlow from Blue Air Training that he can't make me pass out in a fighter jet. Yeah. Uh, he can. He's gonna make you well, fucking throw up. <laughs> oh shit! I'm just saying when I'm, you tell a when you tell a weapons school pilot like, yeah, you, you can't do something. Like I'm gonna die probably. Yeah, <laughs> pro- it'll be good though. I don't know what mine is. I think I don't I wa- thought of mine yet. I want I want to play uh, strip poker with Christy. Mack. Yeah, I think that should be it. Strip be poker funny. with Christy Mack because yeah. that would be that fucking be hilarious. Funny. Yeah, I might get another tattoo with something really stupid. <laughs> you no, can't just you gotta do a tattoos. different thing. Okay, what? You have to fight. What to are you afraid fight of? Tim Kennedy. Oh, I'm. De- oh. I'm not afraid of that. I knew it's no, not gonna I mean, go he's, well. He's gonna beat you up. <laughs> you yeah. should fight Tim Kennedy. Yeah. I, but that's the thing. I I, I almost you should fight I would Greg fight Jackson. Tim because it'd be funnier because you like you, you're a good boxer, so it's almost like not funny. He's gonna beat me, beat my ass, but. Do how, about big this? how about this? How about this? Do big gloves. No, how about this? We'll sh- we'll go to the Jackson camp and whoever the big M- UFC guy is there, I'll spar with them. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah that we, would we'll be Greg fucking on there. hilarious. We'll have John Jones or Holly whoop Holmes. Your ass. I'll spar with Holly. Oh, Holmes. dude. She, well, not yeah. No. She'll whoop your ass. She yeah. might whoop my ass. Yeah. Well, somebody so. awesome, <laughs> Ross. You well, have to fight somebody awesome, I'm Ross. Down. Ross, down. what would you want to do, John Jones? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll I'll tell you what. I'll take a punch from Rocco. Oh fuck! Where to face? I'll t- I'll take it. No, not in the face because no. that's the fucking money maker. Yeah, let's say, let's be geez, real. That's, that's that, 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 the, yeah. That's what's stomach. putting food on the table in the stomach. Oh. I'll, I'll take I'll take your best shot. I'll take your best shot in the stomach. That's cool. That's a fucking that's good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Realize how that's a stupid I, thing. So Matt has to play strip <laughs> poker with Christy Mack. Rocco's gonna spar with a legit UFC fighter. I'm gonna talk shit to a fucking world renowned pilot. And Ross is going to take a punch from Rocco into the stomach. Oof, God, I feel yeah. like we'll, 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 we'll video. We'll video. No, we did no, we got to go up. No, no, we got to no. go. We, we do 15 grand every year. If we make more, we make more. Well, let's put it at 20. Yeah. Because hey, wait, wait, no, we wait. Don't, I thought about this before. Well, no, there's, there's four of us now, so we okay. need five okay. per. Well, here's the thing. Yeah. I thought about this before. What if the the two that don't reach their five thousand goals? Because then you got to do two separate. Yeah, then we're splitting it. It's, yeah, it's weird. It's funny. The relinquish your fate. The yeah. whole thing is you choose your fate. Okay. If we meet, we're so twenty thousand. We're just yeah. trying to raise money. Twenty thousand. Know? I, I get what you're saying. That it's it's It'd a fucking fun. hilarious <laughs> idea. <laughs> But okay. then it's like, I mean, we're, we'd crush them if it was you and I. I mean, yeah, okay. Jared and fucking Ross, what are they going to do? Are you kidding? Go, but would, fuck each other behind a dumpster? I would I would pull some some strings. <laughs> so, yes, <laughs> some, strings. Uh, some foolery. Yeah. Some tomfoolery. We would pull some tomfoolery <laughs> on you guys. We would do some crazy shit. <laughs> Ross and I would take it's a load a, into the bank for 100K. <laughs> 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 we win. <laughs> <laughs> My credit score is, a fu- is amazing, you fucks. It's amazing. <laughs> That's good. So uh, man, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. My credit score is not good because that bitch that I got engaged to on Valentine's yeah. Day. Dude, I really want to do, yeah. do a whole episode <laughs> where we talk about her because I have so no. many stories. No, yeah, we no. Won't yeah, we won't but bring it up. so many people no, think we won't. Else. It's sad because no one knows the real no. story that you were the victim in this whole thing. Well, we didn't need she, to do she's, that. She's super irrelevant, so we won't even bring it up. It is true. Yeah, and and she's, she's finally hidden back into her hole yeah. and said, oh, I'm not going to win this. And one. I'm sure it's the listening, uh, that person. You can go fuck yourself, and you know that I'm right with that. Dude, guy. with Have with that one. with a happy with a Valentine's Day. Yeah. Cheers. With a, <laughs> cheers, please. Woo! Cheers, happy Valentine's Day. 
Day. I want, Happy I want you to fuck Day. yourself with a hot iron. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, all the yeah. way in there. That whole triangle. <laughs> triangle? Why they're triangle these days? Oh, an iron? God. They're triangle yeah. these days. Good. Good. Oh, an iron. Like a it's hotel, like a, a hotel iron that's been left like on. Yeah, for, it's like it, a got, it get left on when they went to Vegas to go gamble, and it's like burning a hole in the fucking thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you come back that the, the the iron's still on. You're like, oh, uh, stick this in your vagina. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Fuse it closed. <laughs> That'll be the best. Hey, for hey. You. Well, well. On that happy Valentine's note, who is the drinking bro of the week? <laughs> so who is the drinking bro of the week? Uh, Rocco's got it this week. Oh, dude, I completely forgot who I was gonna pick. Are you, are you just drunk? No, right I now? swear to you. Yeah. You forgot who? Yeah. It was one of your nerd friends. Oh, Joe Wood. <laughs> there it My is. My bad. <laughs> All right, dude. Sorry, guys. So, Drinking Bro of the Week is uh, Joe Wood. He's one of the Drinking Bro's nerds stud. Um, <laughs> he's, he's a tr- nerd stud. He's Don't a- mind Rocco slurring right now. Yeah, so Rocco cool. is fucking hammered again. I know. Again, I know, you're dude, hammered. I'm going to get so much shit when I get home, too. But, no, Joe... <laughs> <laughs> But jo- why do we give you drinking bro of the week every week and you get hammered and fuck it up every but, week and fuck it up? But Joe would Joe would actually travel from one from one freaking uh, from where he lives all the way to freaking the east coast. I mean to the west coast and then back home. And which I can't even remember where home is for him. It's a uh, Hawaii is where he's originally from, I believe. But uh, Joe Wood is one of the guys who starts. <laughs> why was he the, traveling? Yeah, like he says he does the- he, he says he does it once a year. He just likes to take a break and travel. Are, are you just saying he traveled for? No, yeah, I thought like, you were getting yeah, to a punchline of. No, yeah. he did this for that's somebody. What, that's what I thought. Like, no, like, no, he just took a visit. <laughs> yeah. No, so why he does like, it? Okay. Jared Taylor. He, he went. He went to <laughs> Sorry, Columbia. I've, I've been drinking. Like, Listen, he so drove this, why did he go to Columbia? I don't know. Joe Wood does. He owed somebody money. He just stopped and had. Met up with every drinking bro he could in almost every city. So oh, that's what, okay, there which you is go. pretty cool, man. Yeah. So he, he made a, he was making videos and he was posting, he was keeping updates and everything. But if you're not part of the drinking bros nerds, you wouldn't see all the stuff that he does. But that's just one part of what he does with the drinking bros nerds. Well, I got man, I, I love the drinking bro nerds because it's always like that, like kind of that. Uh, it's like the the extension of everybody that is in drinking bros. A lot of badasses, but then like, like play some video games. Oh, man, Mary, Mary's on fire in there. Yeah, oh, she's, she's same with Sue. Oh, yeah, Ma- Mary so is cool. cool. Yeah, yeah. They all yep. do it, dude. And Even like James, ba- yeah. James took a picture one day. Was like, whoa! And drinking bros nerds fashion whoa. killed it. Yeah. Badass dudes that like to fucking do their own thing. So, cheers to your boy, man. To the Joe Wood, drinking bros nerds. Joe, Joe Wood, Joe Wood, Joe Wood, and hey. And on Valentine's Day, Joe Wood, I hope your middle name is is six inches of it. Uh, so six inches of wood. I hope you get laid tonight. Mm, We're proud of six you. Six inches. We love you. Happy Valentine's Day Happy to every Valentine's drinking Day. bro and bro at well, Ross. Before we close this, I'm sorry. I hate the holiday so much. I'm always that guy. You know, every holiday you hate. I I'm waiting hate for the it. holiday you love. When is Columbus Day? When is Columbus Day? <laughs> I, I want Ross, Ross Patterson Day. Day. Hey, he loves Fourth of July. I love Fourth of July. Yeah, I love Halloween. I love Christmas. I love Thanksgiving. So let's go down that route. Close it out, <laughs> okay. motherfucker. Close it out. Close, Close it, it out, motherfucker. For, for Matt, Matt, I hate every holiday best. <laughs> Rocco, JT, and Ross Patterson, yeah. we are out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, Cupid. Bye, Cupid. We fucking love you. Put that mushroom puppy in you.